if you can't take a joke, you are in the wrong room tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The premium blend stage is about to become a no-fly zone for the overly sensitive. A regular on the Opie and Anthony show, here comes Mr. Jim Norton. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? Good. Seeing all these couples and it's really annoying me. I'm single. I had a three-year relationship end. You ever have somebody just freak out on you in a relationship? Things are going great. After three years, she wants to run out and find a guy that doesn't hit her. See, it's New York. You can do that joke. If I did that in Los Angeles, they all would have walked out on me. Domestic violence is not funny. My friends in a bad relationship. My boyfriend hit her. <laughs> and I hate people that get offended at humor. And everybody works with somebody like that or goes to school. You know that one person, they always try to get attention by taking a stand and you just... <laughs> you know that aggravating person? Always wearing glasses, two sizes too small for their stupid faces. Because they think they look brilliant. No matter what you're talking about, there's a problem. Cats and dogs, oh my God, my friend was attacked by a pit bull. Could you not go there? Okay. <laughs> and you know what we take for granted here? The fact that in New York, you can pretty much do whatever you want whenever you want it. You have 24-hour accessibility, which I like. Three o'clock in the morning, you can run out and get truck tires, falafel, and a bag of heroin. In the same store. You know, I was in Aspen, Colorado, where you do not have that accessibility, and it's aggravating, because they close, the entire city closes at 10 o'clock, because it's a ski town, and they're all yuppie douchebags. They want to get up early, get on the slopes. You know, ugh. For the record, I hate skiing, and if you're killed doing it, good. It stinks. But it closes at 10 o'clock, so I'm there one time, it's after midnight, I was starving, there's nothing open. I'm like, all right, I'll call an escort service. And I'll tell you, New York is expensive, Aspen is disgusting. I'm on the phone with the service. I'm like, well, how much is it to see somebody? And the woman's like, ah, uh, $3,000. I'm like, you out of your mind? And she's like, well, she's really pretty. Ah. Do I get to cut her head off and keep it when I'm finished? The one thing I don't miss when I leave here, cab drivers. The people who don't live here don't understand the hatred we have for these people. And I don't mind. You know, they're awful. I'm actually writing a movie. It's about two cabbies that have a head-on collision and the explosion kills them both. The movie is called Wouldn't Life Be Good If This Happened Every Eight Seconds. Here's the problem I have. Like, I laugh at awful things. I'm a nice person. I have an awful sense of humor. And I think everybody is guilty of that once in a while. Like, just laughing at something when you're done, you're like, oh God, I need a shower. I mean, that was disgusting. <laughs> Me and my buddy are in Houston International Airport, waiting to get on a plane. We see a very old lady in a wheelchair, which is not a funny thing. She has no legs, which is kind of funny. And I know I can't look at my friend. You ever feel somebody next to you shaking with laughter? And you know if you look, you're a dead man. But you have to look. It's like a car accident or a sodomy video. I mean, you just have to peek. I look at my friend. He is shaking and laughing so hard. He has drool coming out of the side of his mouth. And I'm like, oh God, please don't let me laugh. Please don't let me laugh. And then he hits me. Do you think she's lying? Stand by. Ah. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enjoy your night.
Thank you very much.